It's time for Ryan's Roses. This is a public service. If you think something in your relationship is just off or you find a pair of sunglasses in your husband's diaper bag, then send us the story, ryan at kissfm.com, and we will try and get to the bottom of it. Mar- Maria and Chino sent us an email saying, Dear Ryan, I took my husband's diaper bag in a rush when I was leaving the house the other day. I was changing my baby's diaper, and I found a pair of women's sunglasses in the diaper bag. I took the glasses. I have not asked them about them yet. Please find out what's going on. Maria's on the line with us now. Mm-hmm. Maria, I can imagine how uh, ticked you must have been when you saw the glasses in the diaper bag. Oh, my gosh. I was so upset. I mean, I'm just there changing my baby's diaper, trying to grab for all the stuff that, you know, you need the deficit, the wipes, and everything else. And I pull out a pair of sunglasses that aren't mine, and I was just in shock. I mean, my baby is only five months old. I can't believe that he's already messing around and going everyone. I mean, I thought we were, like, trying to be a great family and... I mean, I know I haven't slept in a while, and I know I can get cranky, but that's no reason to be going around with who knows who and with my baby. I mean, that's five months old. She doesn't need to be around anybody else. Well, let's see. Maybe there's an explanation. Maybe they are accidentally in that bag somehow. I don't know how, but maybe accidentally they ended up in that bag. Maybe they're his mother's or a family member that was with them at the park and just set them in there. No, we don't have, like, any family that he hangs out with like that. Has he messed around in the past? And those are not, like, his mom. Those are not mom's sunglasses. Is this the first time you think he's done anything? Or, Sissy was saying, has he messed around in the past? I mean, nothing that I could actually say I caught him in the act. But I have had my concerns before. And now with just, like seeing another woman's sunglasses, I mean, that's, like, some physical evidence that it just gets my blood boiling. Like, I can't even see him right now because because I don't know what's going on. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know who he's messing around with. Like, I'm just constantly angry right now, because especially because he's taking my baby with him because obviously it's in her diaper bag. He only has that on him when he's with her. All right. Maria, I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call and then whatever his name is on KISS FM. Ryan, you have my permission to call on KISS FM. Okay, here is what is going to happen, Maria. Sissany is going to call him and offer him some roses. She is going to try and find out who he wants to send them to. And then if there's any sort of emotional note he wants to write on the card. That can be very telling. So we want to try and get as much out of him before he knows that everybody's here as we can, all right? Okay. Good luck. Here we go. Hello? Hi, may I speak to Rick? Yeah, okay. Hi, this is Gracie. I'm calling from Any Occasion Flowers. We're actually a new flower shop um, right here in Chino. We're on the corner of uh, Philadelphia and Central. I'm calling because uh, we're doing a promotion today, and this is all absolutely free. We just wanted to let you know that you've been selected to receive a free dozen roses. Oh, wow, that's great. Yeah, so you can actually send those to anybody that you'd like today, um, and we just say that, you know, whoever gets them, you just refer us to friends and family if you like the flowers. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I know exactly who I want to send them to. Sweet. Okay, so what is the name that you would like me to put on the card? My name is... Um, Camila. Camila. Okay. And then what would you like? Oh, you can write a little note on there, too. Um, you are my sunshine. You are my sunshine. Okay, cute. Uh, Rick, it's Ryan Seacrest and Sissini. Your voice is being broadcast on the radio right now. We've got your wife, Maria, on the line. Who is Camila? That's my daughter. That's our daughter. Is that true, Maria? Yes, that's sweet and all that you're sending them to your daughter, but I don't buy it. I think you've been messing around with somebody else, Rick. I found some sunglasses in your diaper bag. What the hell is that about? Sunglasses? Don't be trying to be all cute. I'm the best dad ever sending flowers. No, there's something that's going on. Yes, sunglasses. 
Um, I think, oh, I yeah, I found some sunglasses at the, the playground the other day, and I figured they belonged to one of the other moms, so I just thought I'd grab them for them and, and hold on to it, give back to them later. Rick, that doesn't make any sense at all. Well, whose sunglasses are they? It doesn't add up, bro, okay? You can just pick up sunglasses, put them in the bag, and then you're going to take them back. And This is not the lost and found. Whose sunglasses are they? I'm, I'm being completely honest here. I'm, I'm not messing around or doing anything wrong. I just, I was trying to help them out. I mean, they're, they're like friends to me. I see them every, every time I go out there. Well, then why didn't you give them to me so that I can handle it? I go to the park more than you do. You could have told me. Um, I'm, not, I'm not believing them. this. Uh, Rick, I, I don't know. I have a hard time with this. So let me just put it to you another way. Your wife has had concerns that maybe you're not being faithful with her. She found women's sunglasses in your diaper bag. She took them from the diaper bag. You didn't say anything about her taking them from the diaper bag. If you were really concerned about getting them back to your friend, you would have raised the question, where did the sunglasses go? So I can't quite buy it rick whose glasses are they it, it honestly slipped my mind i i don't i don't know who they actually belong to i just know it must be one of theirs so but, i but if you them. if you grabbed them and they were gone why didn't you go to your wife and say hey honey did you grab those glasses unless you were covering right. something up i forgot that they were there they're, it's not that big of a deal well i'm just telling you your wife thinks it is have you ever messed around on your wife before no all right, Maria, do I, I don't know what else I can do. What, you can speak to him about this further. Do you think he's telling the truth? I can't believe it. He doesn't even have, like, a great story about it. He cares so much about these glasses, and then he doesn't care because he doesn't even notice that they're gone. He's just trying to avoid the question. It doesn't answer anything. Until he actually finds who those glasses belong to, I can't trust anything that he's saying about I, 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 or anything I just, about him. The fact you took him and he didn't say anything is confusing to me. I'm going to let you guys go and have the conversation with yourself, okay? Ourselves. Thank you. All right. Take care. Bye. I think I hung up on him. Uh, all right, I have two, two, two thoughts, and then we'll come back here. Two thoughts. One, he knew it was us. Okay. Okay. Because he right away sent him to his daughter. He yeah. Very he didn't really hesitate. Nonchalantly. There's somebody else's. I picked them up. I want to return them. And two is it completely doesn't add up and he's lying about all of it. Yeah. Which, now you're flipping would, me off. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, one was this finger. Two was that yeah. finger.